My name is Steve Shearing. I own the Amsoil Snowcross race team. We've taken the Amsoil products to the extremes and they've delivered every single time. Last race of the season at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, one of our drivers was out in front, got rear-ended, broke the heat exchanger, we lost all our coolant the second lap of the 15 lap main event. Our driver was able to finish a race in a top five position with the motor still running. The good thing about the Amsoil products, it, it's so constant. You know, we have the exact same performance results time after time after time. For more than a decade, we've been winners with Amsoil. Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm Misha Johnson, and we are here in the service department of Bristow's, and here's Todd. Todd, do you have a minute for an interview? I sure do. Awesome. All right, well, looking at the snowmobile the way you have it, what makes a snowmobile run great? Well, you want to make sure that your carburetors are cleaned and uh, set to spec. That will, that will make sure that everything's in working order. So that's the main thing? That's the main thing. Yep, make sure your carburetors are good. And you know what? If you're anything like our next rider, he is going to set a world record. Fingers crossed. Take a look at this. In the sport of snowmobiling, everyone knows the pros. Blair Morgan. Tucker Herbert. Leave out of Ollie. They push the sport, win races, and set records. But you don't have to be a pro to get your name in the record book. Case in point, Nick Keller, a hard-riding, hard-working man from Painesville, Minnesota. Nick's been riding for years and has raised his family on snowmobiles. I guess we started snowmobiling back in the 60s. Even before we got married, we had a snowmobile. Ever since we were little, we were snowmobiling and coming from a family of all girls, that's kind of our bonding activity with my dad. Locally, he's known as the mileage man, averaging 200 plus miles per day. Right now I'm average between four and five thousand of leisure driving. In the last two past snowmobile season I have accumulated over eleven thousand miles. Riding, just like life, can be a hard rocky road. Nearly twenty years ago, tragedy rocked the Keller family. Nick lost his mother to cancer. So this season, Nick rides for a purpose. The record was broken and uh, my local dealer asked if I would uh, challenge that. He said, you put on enough miles, I think you could handle something like that. And I said, I'll do it for a cancer fundraiser because of my mother died at a very young age and had a passion of doing something. We thought, what a great opportunity just to start our own nonprofit, the Keller Family Community Foundation, um, and that we're going to be sponsoring the Snowball Cancer Challenge for him to do the world record. Family and friends believe in Nick and pushed him to set a higher goal. My personal goal it is well above the 12,000 miles. To rewrite the record book, Nick would need some help and Yamaha was there. The reliability of the four-stroke engine in the Yamaha is just superior. The, the fuel mileage is, is going to be a huge factor for that many miles. The sled is set up for long distance running with a skid plate, a tall windshield, and saddlebags. Yeah, that's a big deal to me. It's very, very important for the family. It's a lot of personal touch into it. With his family and friends and sponsors behind him, Nick looks forward to hitting the trail. I've been asked a lot of how you can train for such a rough ride and the endurance of it, and I just smile and say, through the business of a mason, all I have to do is keep working. It's been working out well. I mean, it, to me, after a, a hard summer of working in the masonry field, it's so relaxing to sit on a machine and enjoy it. And Sledhead 24-7 will be there to follow every record-setting mile. So stay tuned as Nick goes for the record.